welcome back to Vrindama today. It's me, Jesse Chahal, but more importantly, are my guests. I'm flanked by them on the left and right. On my left, Sim Eugene, who is the director of uh, what we're going to talk about, as well as Mr. Canning Haramio, right. who is the executive producer of El Alegria, Alegria, which is the poster we have here at the back. It means joy, and it's really interesting because it's been such a successful uh, short movie. Welcome mm. to the studio, guys. Thanks Thank for being you. with me. Um, first mm. of all, you're an upcoming a uh, young Malaysian director, you've started in the field of advertising but then you've moved on and you've done many videos and, 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 and shots as well and you of course being a lecturer at uh, UM, a That's Spanish right. lecturer at UM. How did this collaboration happen and tell us what really brought about uh, the movie? Well, in, at the beginning we say that um, we got the invitation to be in a short film and um, so we, we decided to, I, I just met uh, mm. at Eugene you know, so by having some friends. And yeah, we know each other for quite some time, yeah. then we met at UN, then he mentioned to me about this competition, then so we made an appointment to come for coffee, mm -hmm. exactly. right? And from there it just kind of, boom, you know, yeah. we, there's a lot of ideas minds, in our head. Yeah, minds were exactly. at work, right? Yeah. And what mind. makes this short, short film so interesting is it uses three languages, That's predominantly right. Malay and then Spanish and of course a bit of English as well towards mm -hmm. the end. Uh, Tell us what the story is about. Well, I would say the story is just about uh, a, a girl from a Malay ethnicity. Okay. She she comes from a conservative family. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. But she's very passionate about the Spanish language, you know, so in a Spain telenovela. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, she, Which but then, have fans all over the world. Yes, That's of right. course. That is what Spanish telenovelas, exactly, right? Exactly. People love it, yeah. Uh -huh. So the struggle comes a bit that the father actually doesn't like her doing this. She dis he dislikes of her going too much into this culture. So the conflict comes from there. She's like, oh, okay, no, no, when can I, you know, embrace what I want? without you know getting disapproval from my mm -hmm. father and everything mm -hmm. but the mother is the one that supports her okay so from that on the story just talks about how she kind of like uh, struggles too and then uh, eventually she the, she actually meet a tourist from Spain and when they meet them everything changes All right. exactly. yes so that's the fascination I think we're trying to incorporate the Spanish into the Malay culture we try to reduce the gap between both uh, cultures mm -hmm. so I, we believe the Spanish I mean, it's still, you know, we are still we're far away from, from Southeast Asia, yeah. but we believe that we have now, the, uh, at the university, we have a fascinating human resource, the, the human resources we can use to, mm. to make sure we can create uh, pretty much just uh, movies and films and soap opera here in Malaysia. That's it's right. Can you imagine a telenovela mm -hmm. made in Malaysia having, you know, in, infused with a bit of uh, a Malay language and Malay culture but at the same time, uh, you know, for a, a big international market. Exactly. We've got a clip on the short uh, feature. Let's take a quick look. Pues sí que estamos fastidiados porque yo lo único que entiendo es 10 días y no, no. ¿Tu padre complace about you studying Spanish? No, but instead he goes around telling everyone that I'm studying Spanish. And he says it sounds really romantic when I say it. ¿O habla español? Sí, les ponemos guía por Kuala Lumpur, ¿vale? ¿Vale? Joy, um, joy, exactly. You were also in the movie. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's right. Well, we try to, as a support actor, you know, try to to help uh, the students yeah. and some of the lectures. So. Um, how do you think we are kind of open towards the language? I mean, in in terms of usability, is Spanish quite easy for Malaysians to learn? Indeed, actually. Yeah. We share the we, we share the same alphabet and you know the phonetic is still the same. The way you see you see the words, that's the way you pronounce and, and your students now can speak Spanish fluently. Indeed, actually actually I just came from a class and uh, we have my students we just pretty much doing translation. We're doing uh, uh, Spanish at level five, six and uh, they're absolutely incredible. I mean well they speak well spoken Amazing. and uh, so that's the beauty that we can create now in, in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia mm. and we can pretty much go worldwide. Worldwide, that's right, the, the sky's the get. limit. Yeah, yeah, we, we really need to do that. Oh, let's talk about uh, the short movie and uh, some of the feathers in the hat. Like it's really right. gone to oh. soul and it's and it's, it's worn in soul. Well, yeah, it got into the top 
films, yeah, uh, yes. you know, competition. The fascination was, uh, Jesse, that uh, this, uh, this short film went to Seoul, mm -hmm. and in Seoul uh, it was Anthony Chen, which is a top mm -hmm. uh, international director. Yeah. He was uh, coming on the or for Cannes Film Festival, mm -hmm. and um, pretty much he's one, one of the judges in this uh, competition, and we got in the top 30. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Alegria, we're not having any, um, let's say, Korean, uh, mm -hmm. you know, setting. Yeah. It was made pretty much with, uh, we, we, we thought it was just a, a free theme, mm -hmm. but it was done completely on the Spanish, Malay, <laughs> and we go in the top 30 without talking about anything about Korea. Yeah, so. <laughs> not a single thing. So, yeah. so we were so excited, and, and then afterwards, when, when we brought Alegria to mm. Kuala Lumpur, and we presented to the Latin American Film Festival Ooh. organizers. Yeah. Same, thanks, by the way, to the Embassy of uh, Colombia mm. for helping us and to, to expose Alegria, our short film, into the Latin American Film Festival. Mm. And they really enjoy and they love yeah. it. Yeah, it. it was so a really, really an honor. Impact. Really, mm. really an honor. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, understandable that you know we have to get approval from all the embassies you know before they allowed it. But we so uh, the ambassador. From uh, Colombia, Raul Hill, you presented to everyone on the embassy, and they all love it, and that's why they unanimously agree to allow the show to be your opening. Yeah, that's right. And we were there, we see the audience reactions, and we are so they glad that everyone it, huh? enjoyed what, it. What has been the feedback from the people, from Malaysians, or their it's, it's absolutely uh, we're overwhelming. I mean, that we, we see that the Malaysians see the, the fact, like yeah. the beauty, the beauty, we, we, can sh we are showing the beauty of Malaysia, beauty of Kuala Lumpur, the beauty of our tourism in Kuala Lumpur and then to the Latin American in, in, in Spain and, and now in, in the USA because now it's going to Houston, now yeah. it's going to Houston. So, and Latin America, they love it. They really love it in Malaysia and overseas. It's absolutely incredible. I'm super excited because mm -hmm. the future is, 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 is going to be, I don't know what, I can't find another word besides exciting. Uh, there's so much we can do, right? In terms Definitely. of bridging that mm -hmm. gap, like you said. Um, as a young Malaysian going out there and wanting to do something different in the industry, what are your thoughts with, with having worked on a project like this? Well, I would say that uh, uh, it will be a stream honor at first because uh, when I was, even st when I started the this short film, I was thinking about like how to make something different mm -hmm. and unique something mm -hmm. I before. So I tell a story from my heart, a heart that I can reach both cultures together. So since seeing the response of the short film, it actually convinced me, convinced me to actually talk about you know, a series of t television novellas with both local cars and perhaps also international cars and also of in both languages in Basim uh, and also Spanish at the same time. And then in the television novellas, we will discuss about you know, our Malaysian culture and also also about the Spanish culture and all at the same time, Latin American culture, all blend into this television novella. So it could be like a... It, the audience is not just for local audience, but could be potentially for Latin American audience as well. That's right. And the idea is to bridge your culture together. There's no yeah. boundaries at all. There is no boundaries. Mm -hmm. So I think that the future is bright, mm -hmm. and we, we hope that uh, we can we can go very far. Mm -hmm. We I have think. an invitation to to people who want to participate into these projects. Uh, we would like to bring uh, great Malaysian entrepreneurs as well to to join us into this uh, beauty. Uh, goal to bring Malaysia, make Malaysia, you know, great in, in the sense that we can speak Spanish also here too. Mm -hmm. Malaysia. That's right. It could be and one of the other spoken languages here. You've been in the country for over 15 years. That's right. You've traveled around Malaysia yes. uh, uh, and, and, and then around Asia as well, very uh, very extensively. You're a man of all trades. Uh, you've been in banking, you've been in showbiz, international occasion, you've been a model. Uh, what, what else? What, how, how many other hats do you wear? <laughs> well, but this is something like I believe that, you know, we have a short life. We had to make things happen. And um, so I just, uh, I, I might say I'm just a dreamer. So a I dreamer. like to do things and, you know, in all sense. And being able to be in different industry, they allow you to have different vision. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what I had allowed me to, to be in this path. What has uh, been ex uh, some of the highlights here in Malaysia for you, especially when you compare to home? Yeah. Some of the things that you know, KL can remind you of back home. Um, well, I like the food. I think yeah. the food is something very special, right? So, um, and I feel sometimes I feel this is my second mm. home. I feel Malaysia, my second home. The fact that now I can find the Spanish food here too. Yeah. So at some point you feel like you know you're in the right place. And I think the the warm of people that we have, we share the same climate because uh, Malay Caracas in Venezuela, mm. where I, I was born. 
um, is a is tropical country. So we have the, we have the same pattern. We have the tropical. We have similar food. Uh, similar similar dishes so I know the plot for the next movie on <laughs> food because Malaysians love food mm, that's right. and now so do the Spanish as well yeah we can talk about some some chef uh, you know like like the food then we can talk about so many I things I like that and then there'll be a love story in Maybe between a all of that fusion food as well yeah right? yeah fusion food uh -huh. let's see so many things happening right here on this table uh, Malaysians generally the uh, as, as you say they kind of they like the language um, they can learn quite easily as well uh, you know would would you consider learning Spanish like I've always wanted to but I never really well honestly uh, until uh, before I did a short film I never thought about it actually I picked up a bit of French yeah when I was uh, <laughs> in college <laughs> at that time but now uh, after the I suppose of the short film I was like no it's about time and uh, I'm not doing it because I want to, I'm doing it because I love to. Okay. And that's what came, like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And, and what more to have Come someone like Kenny? Come <laughs> that's right. Come Here we go. Here we go. That's all I know. Yeah, okay. So exciting, guys. Uh, do tell us uh, what do you have planned for the future coming out of this movie? Is it going to be featured in any other film festivals? Yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, we, we are now, we are, uh, Alegria is already in Houston. We have been sent Alegria in 2019. And Houston because? Houston because it's, mm. a, it's a, the heart of the Latin American community. It's a big uh, Latin community in Houston, in the state. We, we need to understand that in the uh, United States, we, there is 30, 35 million Spanish speakers. Wow, huge. And we're talking about from, from all the West Coast. So we're talking about LA. We're talking about uh, Texas, all this Texas. We're talking about Dallas and, and Houston as well. So mm -hmm. big, big, uh, some big cities, and we believe uh, we can go all the way down to Mexico as well and all Latin America, presenting this kind of uh, new proposal, mm -hmm. and we can create fantastic production here in Kuala Lumpur. So has, that's the has it been done in any other language in in partnership with any other language uh, that you've you've seen before, like for example German and Spanish or or Chinese and Spanish or mm. has it tapped any other markets because if not then this would be really a pi pioneer thing. We believe uh, at this point in time I've been doing research so I don't see something uh, similar mm -hmm. so and what I see is like um, there must be something in the past I remember there was a, a famous band from Japan called Orquesta de la Luz but pretty much the, the light orchestra came from Japan and conquered completely Latin America. We're talking about the 90s. I was so, so young and yeah. there was this or uh, this famous uh, salsa band all the way from Japan speaking in Spanish and they conquered Latin American market. Really? So that's, yeah. that's the only thing I recall about this uh, incre incredible orchestra. It's a salsa band. How, how open do you think the market would be to something that's come from, from Asia? Oh, I think that would be totally fascinating because we are talking about, uh, I think Kuala Lumpur is a very sophisticated city and I mean the, the skyline is unbelievable and I think something coming from Asia is, uh, it, must, it must be something very unique, it would be a uh, eyes opening, mm -hmm. exotic. Opener, exotic for, yeah. for us. Uh, I still, we, we may say that in Latin America people see Asia as just a traditional Asia, mm -hmm. but we need to understand that mm -hmm. uh, Asia had changed so much and pretty much a we are, this is the mm, where most people live now. Yeah. So I mean, that's yeah. why I say Kuala Lumpur is one of the best place for the expatriates to come. That's right. We stay, just right? stopped the yes. list. Yes, exactly. Number six so position. we are number in the sixth position. Yeah. So we're talking about that uh, Kuala Lumpur is now in the numbers. Yeah. And as a most arrival, we mm -hmm. need to understand that it's a great opportunity to to, to start. Maybe you know. that's why I feel that making films like that only seems more natural. Yeah. Really. It's not, it's not that we are showing a false out story, it's actually something that is true story, is natural. That's right, so the exactly. story is kind of based on, on well, it is truism, yeah. It's some kind of things a... that are real as well. Exactly. It is. Right? How difficult was it for you to, or rather how easy was it for you to <laughs> go in there and, and capture this, this moment from a technical point of view? Technical point of view, uh, I would say that, okay, it's not, it's never that real difficult because I think as a Malaysian, we are blessed with, uh, you, know, uh, you know, it's a country of melting pot. So, yeah. you know, we, since young, we grow up with cultures from all different cities. That's right. So when I write this script, okay, I, I was thinking about, I just need to know the heart of both culture. Mm -hmm. That's why I did it. I understand the heart of, uh, you know, uh, Malay culture, I understand the heart of a uh, Spanish culture. Right. So when I write it, it's like, that I find that, that, that a point that brings them both together. And what is that point? Right. And the point is, I would say that one of it, one of it is music. Mm -hmm. exactly. Like it or not, music combines, you know, unites everyone together. One of the music 
and one other thing is uh, how easy you can pick up a language. That's right. Okay. Exactly. And number three, we have the uh, you know, based on a true story of like how a girl she really pick up Spanish and so interested in the culture. So it's something yeah. that is real. Yeah. So it's all these three points: the music and how easy the language and their genuine interest in the culture of both sides. Amazing. And it's not just with Spanish, you know. I mean, like I said, with Japanese and Korean and everything. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it's just about harnessing the heart of both culture. Right. And I did it with that direction. Wonderful. And, and you've done such a great job. Both of you have done an amazing oh, job. Thank you. Uh, what would your messages be uh, to our viewers uh, before I let you go? No, before we let you go, I would like to <laughs> just send thank you to uh, the University of Malaya. First, uh, mm. you know, Rosita Chilmar, my, my coordinator, incredible, uh, super supported all the, the, the team of Alegria, right, and uh, the Embassy of Colombia, as I said before, mm -hmm. and uh, thanks to Eugene and yes. June also. I want to thank my uh, team, Jun my team. Juni Wong, he's editor and uh, cameraman for this short film. Exactly. You know, we picked together in terms of uh, you know, getting the visuals that we want to present the audience. We are really a good team. Yeah. And also uh, to all audience, like, don't stop learning new language. Exactly. Don't, stop, yeah. Yeah, don't stop learning exactly. a new language. If you need yeah. to learn Spanish, you know where to find Canning, University of Malaya, and uh -huh. Eugene is also there to capture those moments mm -hmm. for you. Well done to you and both teams. It's been, you. Uh, you know, it's it's so exciting to see this movie, uh, and I hope that it just keeps breaking that ceiling mm -hmm. and keep breaking barriers. And who knows, one day a full fledged movie made here in Malaysia. Definitely, that's, yeah. that's, that's right. pretty much the yeah. That will be the the goal, the end goal of us, and that will be a. Uh, yeah, the breaking. All right, so how do we say bye in Spanish? Ciao. We say adios. 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 All right, <laughs> adios, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Adios. Yeah.